guys so today i wanted to do a review on my camera so um i really wanted to show you the camera i've been using vlogging taking photos with and uh, perhaps it might be the camera for you so um i'm going to give you a little bit of the specs and my experience um with it and i hope you enjoy watching and this is helpful so if you do like this video don't forget to like um, and that just lets me know you like this video and do comment and also subscribe if you're new So I have the Sony DXC WX500 So I'll give you a look at the camera and also I'll be reading some notes so I might just be looking away So here's the camera itself So it's a compact digital camera so it's quite lightweight and um, it has lots of great features which I really do like using. So this is the front. So it's 236 grams in weight and this is the top. So it has a power button, it has the flash button, this is the shoot button right here, and these are the settings. So I find the quality of the camera, I find the sound, and also I do find using this camera just so easy and just ready to go. So this camera comes in this box and within it you get lots of items such as the battery, um, a USB wire and other items. So the battery is a lithium ion battery and this is included. I do find this has a great battery life and I don't need to charge it um, a lot and can work for many hours um, on a full battery and just run very well. So this is a digital compact camera and um, I do think that it's really easy to carry um, and is great for on the go. It has great shooting quality and sound so I do really find um, those to be really winners for this camera. Um, it's great for vlogging and I do find this is a really straightforward camera to use. It has loads of settings which I'm still getting down to using. Um, it's quite straightforward to use and um, I think it's really approachable camera and um, not too technical for people perhaps who aren't into um, cameras. And I do like other qualities such as um, the flip screen. So this has a tiltable screen which is 180 degrees. Um, I think this is quite a game changer in being able to have more control and of course um, a bit more dynamicness in filming or taking pictures. So I'd highly recommend if you like vlogging or perhaps you just want more um, versatility when shooting or recording. So I'll give you a look at this screen. So this is the width of the screen um, and this is the back. So you can flip it up or you can flip it down. So the tiltable screen is LED and I do find this so useful and it's perfect for those who want to vlog. So the zoom type is an optical zoom. This camera has built in Wi Fi and it has the capacity to send um, pictures and videos to mobile devices. So, another great feature of this camera is that it takes HD film and 4K photos. So, I'll put other specs um, on the screen and I'll also put the link for this camera in the description.
So this camera has a great quality video, a great quality audio and a fantastic zoom. So you really can get to those very far places with this camera. So this is compact as it states and it's brilliant to carry around for day trips, holidays perhaps and travels and um, I really do think it's a brilliant camera especially if you're looking for a flip screen. So my only cons or recommendations with this camera are two. So, so this camera is wanting slash bad in low light so it is great in bright natural day and also perhaps if you have a light but um, on a dim day it can be slightly disappointing in the pictures um, but I would say on a normal shooting day or just a bright day it is perfectly fine. And the other thing I would say which I would recommend is buying a case. So this camera isn't super delicate but it does really need to be protected in the long term. So I would recommend a hard case um, and I think that would be perfectly fine um, if you want this to be um, quite durable and have for a while. So I think this is really approachable like I said. It's really fun to use and I find the quality of um, the photos to be fantastic. Um, I'll insert perhaps a few photos for you to have a look at um, what I've shot on this camera and um, I do hope that um, you got some information which you found useful and um, you might want to look into the Sony DSC WX500. So if you like this video, do like and don't forget to comment and let me know your thoughts if you like this camera or perhaps you want it and any information you might want to know and also subscribe if you're new. So take care and thank you for watching. Bye!